Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics, unit six, lesson six, distinguishing between two types of situations. Problem number one from seventh grade unit six, lesson two. A school ordered three large boxes of board markers. After giving 15 markers to each of three teachers, there were 90 markers left. The diagram represents the situation. How many markers were originally in each box? We need to solve for x. We have x minus 15 three times, and that totals 90. So we can write that as 3 times x minus 15 equals 90. 3 times x equals 3x minus 3 times 15, or 45. So 3x minus 45 equals 90. To get the x by itself, we need to add 45 to both sides of the equal sign. 3x minus 45 plus 45 equals 90 plus 45. So now we're left with 3x equals 90 plus 45, or 3x equals 135. Next, we need to change the 3x to just 1x, and we'll do that by dividing it by 3. So we have to divide both sides of the equal sign by 3. 3x, or x times 3, divided by 3 equals 1x, and 135 divided by 3 equals 45. There were 45 markers in each of the three boxes. Problem number 2 from 7th grade Unit 6 Lesson 3. The diagram can be represented by the equation 25 equals 2 plus 6x. Explain where you can see the 6 in the diagram. I see 6 right here in the 6x's that are added to the 2 to equal 25. These 6x's represent 6 equal parts of x. Problem number 3. Elena walked 20 minutes more than Lynn. Jada walked twice as long as Elena. Jada walked for 90 minutes. The equation 2 times x plus 20 equals 90 describes this situation. Match each amount in the story with the expression that represents it. The information tells us that Elena walked 20 minutes more than Lynn, so we can write that as E equals L plus 20. It also says that Jada walked twice as long as Elena, so we can write that as J equals 2E. Not only did Jada walk twice as long as Elena, but Jada walked for 90 minutes. We can represent that with the equation 2E equals 90. Since E equals L plus 20, Jada's walk could be represented as 2 times 20 plus L, and we know that that equals 90. Or you could represent it as 2 times L plus 20 equals 90. Either way, L represents the number of minutes that Lynn walked, and we can use an X to represent this. So A, expression X, matches with situation 3. B, X plus 20, or 20 plus X, represents 20 plus L, or L plus 20. And that matches number 2, the number of minutes that Elena walked. Let's look at the next one, C. 2 times x plus 20, or 2 times 20 plus x. That's the same as 2 times 20 plus l, or 2 times l plus 20. That represents the number of minutes that Jada walked. And since the number of minutes that Jada walked was equal to 90, situation 1 matches both expression C and D. Problem number 4. Match each equation to a story. Two of the stories match the same equation. A. Jada's teacher fills a travel bag with five copies of a textbook. The weight of the bag and the books is 17 pounds. The empty travel bag weighs three pounds. How much does each book weigh? Think of this as five books times an unknown weight plus three pounds equals 17 pounds. Story A matches equation 4. B. A piece of scenery for the school play is in the shape of a 5 foot long rectangle. The designer decides to increase the length. There will be three identical rectangles with a total length of 17 feet. 
by how much did the designer increase the length of each rectangle. We can think of this one as three rectangles times the original five feet long plus an additional unknown length and the total is going to equal 17 feet. Story B matches with equation one. Three times an unknown length added to the original five feet equals 17 feet or three times x plus five equals 17. C. Elena spends $17 and buys a $3 book and a bookmark for each of her five cousins. How much does each bookmark cost? We can think of this as five cousins times a $3 book plus an unknown price for the bookmark. And the total is $17. Story C matches with equation three. Five times X plus three equals 17. The five represents the cousins. The X represents the unknown price for the bookmark. And the three represents the $3 book. D. Noah packs up bags at the food pantry to deliver to families. He packs five bags that weigh a total of 17 pounds. Each bag contains three pounds of groceries and a packet of papers with health-related information. How much does each packet of papers weigh? He packs five bags, and inside each bag is a stack of papers with an unknown weight, plus three pounds of groceries. And this all equals 17 pounds. So I would go with equation 3. 5 times x plus 3 equals 17. E. Andre has three times as many pencils as Noah and five pens. He has 17 pens and pencils all together. How many pencils does Noah have? Three times as many pencils could be represented as 3x and the five pens could be represented as plus five. Altogether, the number of pens and pencils equals 17. Story E represents equation two. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.